Hello, my name is Denise Harlow. I'm with the National Community Action Partnership. Today we're going to walk through Category 1 of the CSBG organizational standards. These are focused around consumer input and involvement. This is a core facet of community action and really comes out of that theme of maximum feasible participation. So Category 1.1. The organization demonstrates low-income individuals' participation in its activities. Now, this standard, we think, is going to be really straightforward for your community action agency. Many of you engage low-income folks across your organization, perhaps in program implementation. You may have parents engaged in a Head Start classroom. You may have parents on a Head Start policy council. You may have folks serving on your board of directors. You may have a tenant council advisory board. There's a lot of different ways that community action agencies involve low-income residents in your activities. This standard basically asks you to document how that happens. Standard 1.2, the organization analyzes information collected directly from low-income individuals as part of your community assessment. Now, as a board member, you may be looking at this information when you're looking at your community assessment document. It may be in the appendices of that resource. You may have a program committee of your board or a planning committee of your board that will look at this information. And at other times that over the course of the year, your organization may really look at what, is in, what information is coming in from our consumers of services, how are we looking at that information, and how is it helpful, helpful to our board deliberation in terms of what programs we operate, how they're doing, and where we're headed as an organization into the future. Standard 1.3, the organization that has a systematic approach for collecting, analyzing, and reporting customer satisfaction to the governing board. Now, this is one of our other standards that specifically identifies you as the board of directors as a, as a group who's going to be looking at this information. So through this standard, your organization will be developing ways to systematically, that means routinely, it might be once a year, every January, it might mean quarterly, it might mean every other month. Every CAP agency can do this kind of data collection differently. But they're going to need to collect information on customer satisfaction information. They're going to need to find a way to analyze that information. And once they do all of that, report it to you at the governing board level. Now, many of you may have a program committee, and again, a program committee might be a very logical place where this reporting to the full board might happen. It may happen in a committee process where you really dialogue about this customer satisfaction data then that report goes up to your full board as part of your committee's report and then is reflected in your board minutes. So again, this can easily happen, I think, at a committee level in a practice way where you're actually dialoguing about the information. But it's really going to be up to your staff to figure out how they're going to collect that information, encapsulate it into a document, and then share it with you as the governing board. So again, this category is customer input and involvement. There are a lot of different ways to meet these organizational standards, but for you as a board member, I think your primary target in this area is to know what are your customers thinking? Um, how is your staff collecting this information? And are you as a board looking at this information in a way that you understand what your customers think about your organization, how satisfied they are with the services and how you provide services and then perhaps we'll look at this a little bit later in the video series, how you use that information in your strategic planning, in your setting of program direction, and other activities of the board. We'll see you on the next video.